Yesterday, uh, the Baltimore Ravens rookies, uh, it was their first day reporting to training camp. As you all know, um, the rookies reported yesterday. Um, in two days, I think it's like injured players and pay players rehabbing and stuff that report. And then all the vets come through next week. And then for the very first time this offseason, the Ravens training camp will be able to be attended. Uh, by us fans and that starts on Wednesday it lasts for the next couple of weeks and it should be a really good time and one of the the biggest battles one of the most important battles in my opinion um because I, I feel like these battles are really going to determine how far or how short the Ravens end up going and that is the Ravens' battles at the wide receiver position. It has been such a conversation. It's been such a topic this offseason about what the Ravens have and have not done at the wide receiver position. But Ravens, for now and right now, seem to be going off of hope when it comes to their wide receivers. They got Rashad Bateman. He was a first-round pick last year. You got James Prochet. He was a, a fifth or sixth-round pick two years ago. Got Devin DuVernay. He was a third-round pick two years ago. You got Tylen Wallace. He was a fourth-round pick last year. But then the Ravens signed. Like, they were going crazy with it because they signed this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, all uh, as undrafted rookie free agents at the wide receiver position. So, and they seem to have a theme. They seem to have had a theme to where they wanted so If you weren't six foot two or six foot three or taller, then the Ravens ain't really want you like that. So, Devin Williams, um, he was actually uh, probably, he was one of the first undrafted rookie free agents, wide receivers that we heard about the Ravens signing. So, we looked at film on him and just saw that. After he had he had the size, he had some decent speed, and he had this level of explos explosiveness to him. And a lot of the other undrafted rookie free agent wide receivers do too. Shamar Bridges, Makai Polk, um, they're more too. I can't think of more off the top of my head, but they all seem to have that same that that same build uh, and that same thing about their game. Once they caught the ball, they were explosive after the catch. Um, but Devin Williams. It was, uh, we were thinking like, man, this guy, like, he may have a legitimate shot at making this Ravens roster if they don't sign another outside guy. And they hadn't. So that's why it's, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, he didn't report uh, to training camp and the Ravens placed him on the reserve did not report list. Um, so I, I know, I, I hope for his sake, uh, that everything personally is okay because I, I know that throughout his collegiate career and this is why there was a lot of uh, fluctuation um, when it came to his game when it came to his stats uh, it was a lot of just up and down because he was dealing with a whole lot of stuff off the field he was dealing with a whole lot of stuff off the field so I'm hoping that he's not having to deal with even more because it's again it's, it's a lot deeper than football it's, it's not just about football it's not just about oh man the Ravens they could have really used him at wide receiver and they could have but hopefully for his sake he has uh peace in his house um so it's it's unfortunate we we don't know what's going on uh with him hopefully it's nothing hopefully it's just that maybe uh, he didn't show up. Maybe he'll show up tomorrow or later on. Hopefully that ends up being the case and this all ends up being a bunch of nothing. Um, but I just hope it's not anything like crazy, anything like that. Um, but yeah, that the wide receiver position for the Baltimore Ravens, it is, it's weird because it's like, it's crowded, but at the same time, it's not really crowded. Um, but they are going to have some decisions to make. Uh, I talked to some people today. Some people think that uh, the Ravens are going to let it play out and roll with the guys that they have for now. And if they looking good, then, hey, that'll be that. 
Uh, but if they're not looking so good uh, in training camp and then it gets to preseason, then the Ravens could possibly make a move then. Um, and I'm going to tell y'all, like, I just, I don't even know what I expect the Ravens to do. I mean, I expect them to to, to sign somebody. Uh, I've been expecting them to sign somebody, though. I mean, they haven't. At least not yet. But simply just for the fact of depth. This is depth. Not even somebody that would have to come in and be a significant starter or play a significant amount of snaps. Uh, but, I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Y'all know I, I wouldn't mind the Ravens really shooting for the stars and going to get somebody who was like that, like that opposite Rashad Bateman. But, again, another conversation for another day. But I, I've been just expecting the Ravens any day now to sign somebody. And they haven't still. So, will this be what they do going into the season? I, I can't see them just rolling with who they got right now. I can't see them doing that. I just, I, I can't. Especially not based off of last year. When injuries, because injuries creep up and they creep up like that. Every single year. Hopefully, this not, not this year for the Ravens, but it happens. So, off season this year, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So, have guys that are here that are ready, ready to go. Guys that are your starters, of course. Guys that are your, your, your second string guys, your third string guys, your backups, all that stuff. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, but we'll see what goes down. So again, hopefully, uh, with Devin Williams, this, it, it, the, the situation isn't anything that's crazy, anything like that. And it's just something small. Uh, and it's just some, like a misunderstanding or just maybe missed a flight. It's some, something small like that. Uh, but hope everything is, is good with him on a personal level. Uh, and if he does decide to continue with football, I, I hope everything ends up working itself out.